So you started out, you worked with Ronald Reagan way back in 1988, uh, when I was a junior in high school, looking forward to all of these wonderful rights and capitalism and, and a society to come into. So lucky you to work with the man. Uh, what impressions did he leave you with that you're probably wishing we still had to this day? Yeah, Reagan's America was a completely different place than we have today. And I think that um, part of what made it appealing is, is it was not an America free of conflict, but the conflict, the large conflict was external. It was between basically the free West and the Soviet empire. And so there were domestic differences, but it was kind of understood that domestically, although we squabble about this and we squabble about that, we are on the same team. We are all Americans. And so uh, there was a certain modest camaraderie. I don't want to exaggerate it because there were some fairly acrimonious political debates and I, I wouldn't downplay those. But I think the difference today is that our main difference is internal. Um, and uh, and so the, the greatest enemies of the conservatives, the Republicans and the patriots and the Christians do not come from abroad. They come from the left because it is the left that is threatening our basic liberties. Xi Jinping isn't threatening them. The Iranians aren't threatening them. Biden is. So I think that we are now in a situation much more closely resembling 1858, 1859. In other words, we have to go back to the Civil War as a, a time in America when the great differences were internal and not external. And that's the difference between us now and the Reagan era. Wow. Okay. That's very well said. Um, this time is different, they would say. And so the media has never been this bad. Uh, the politicians never were so obviously a majority of tyrants. You know, you were talking about maybe some congeniality between Reagan and Tip O'Neill, who was Speaker at the House, which probably wasn't as congenial as it looked on TV. Uh, we had Ted Kennedy running over to Russia to tell the Soviets he'd work with them to help overthrow Reagan, which we didn't find out till years later in the history book. So anyway, the media, they are always a, a minority and hidden away in dark corners. They were. The spying, the censorship, the emergency powers like the McCarthy era, not California Kevin, but Joe McCarthy, with just a few Hollywood types. But the long march through the institution seems to be near the goal line, less so the starting gate. How do you see it? And how do we put the communist genie back in the bottle? Well, it's not going to be that easy. And it's certainly not going to be something that can be done in one shot. Uh, true, if we win the 2024 election, which is an if, there is a, you know, you have the power in the executive branch to... Uh, reform, renovate, remake some of the police agencies of the government. Uh, that even won't be easy because a lot of the rot and the corruption has burrowed its way down. And so even if you're in charge of the country, you you need to ha be, have a very surgical knowledge of how to be able to get into these bureaucracies and sort of root out the bad guys. So that's, and even once you've done all that, uh, a lot of the repressive institutions that we're dealing with, some of them are not even in the government. You have a censorship, for example, being carried out by digital platforms in conjunction with elements of academia, uh, sometimes in conjunction with uh, uh, very powerful and well-funded nonprofits uh, that act as middlemen between the government and the digital platforms. Uh, so some of this has to be fixed by the court. Some of this has to be fixed by the legislature. Some of it by a uh, conservative control of the executive branch. Some of it can be can be done. There are things that can be done at the state level by by governors, uh, by uh, secretaries of state, by uh, DAs, uh, Republican district attorneys. So this is a. It's been a, a war on all fronts for the left, and it, it would need to be a war on all fronts from our side as well.